Hi everyone, we are in Quartzsite today with another vehicle adventure mobile rig tour <laughs> for you. I'm here with my new friend Lee, and she has a really interesting rig that I've never seen before. I've never seen this vehicle before, and so I'm excited to show you guys and have her tell us all about it. It's a 2017, uh, it was a, a Dodge Ram, but I guess they took the Dodge off and now it's called a Ram City Van. It was made in Italy. Uh, by Fiat. I think it's called a Dobla. And uh, I've had it for two months. This bed has a mattress that's four inches thick on it. And it's made out of three quarter inch plywood. I had um, Home Depot cut it for my specifications. So they cut the, the bed under here and the legs. And then I put it all together and I put it in here and I put lots of warm covers with it and this I found at a garage sale and I just threw a little bit of paint on it I wanted it to look a little bit rugged <laughs> so I just put a little bit of paint on it and it's got all my books and my, um, you know my little things in it and uh, and it's also you know my nightstand keep up with everything there so this is my kitchen <laughs> And um, I have this two burner stove um, that I use when I'm cooking a meal. And um, down here I have food items and I keep my um, little French press coffee pot under there. And um, when I travel, this goes on the floor. All of this has to go down. But other than that, everything else just stays the same. And this, a friend of mine in Kansas City cut this out for me and then I put it together in the south and it's got little L brackets down here to hold it down at the bottom so it's really and it's it's, it's attached back here with three screws to um, a cross section that he put on there for me he put the cross section on porta potty <laughs> fire extinguisher and I have a um, detector up there, a carbon monoxide detector. And that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of storage underneath, about six or seven crates down there. One of them is, a, um, is my garage, and it has all of my garage type stuff. Fix a flat and, um, you know, jumper cables and all that. This is all insulated, and this is plywood with carpet attached to it on the floor, on the ceiling, and on the walls. And we have little puck lights and little solar lights. So yeah, that's it. It gets great gas mileage. Uh, on the interstate I get, it depends on, you know, wind. But I get about 30 to 33 on the, on the freeway. And, you know, it averages out to be about 30, 29 or 30. In town, more like 28. I haven't had any problems with it at all. But I've only had it two months, so. <laughs> okay, these drapes are on um, a tension rod, and uh, I don't even open them when I drive anymore. I, I used to open them and open, I have ones for the back too, but they're down because they're on with magnets. But, um, so I used to take the curtain and move it over or take them down when I drove, but now I'm confident enough with my backup camera that I don't have to do that anymore. And then I have overhead storage up there for my sweaters and hats and gloves. I really thought it was going to be colder than it is here in Arizona. <laughs> One of the reasons I chose this van was because um, I tried to test drive larger vans and I, I couldn't back them up. I wasn't comfortable in them and I wanted to be comfortable driving it so uh, that's why I chose it so small. But these doors were another really cool feature. They open up this way but then they also open all the way back. Excuse me. Like that. And that was another cool feature because um, I think I can put a tarp up there and have a nice shady place to sit. I haven't done it yet, but my tarp is under there to do that. This is my dishwashing uh, water and my tiny little um, trash can. And an inverter 
that someone, a friend of mine, gave me, and it's a 1500 watt inverter. So I do plan eventually to get solar, and that'll, that'll help. So this is basically my office because I work for the Board of Realtors in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. So I carry my office with me. And so I have all my documents that I need, all my, um, my computer, everything here for that. Um, this is my shower bag. And that's my cooler. It's a small Coleman cooler. I do not recommend that anybody buy that because you have to put ice in it every single day. It's too small, really. It needs to be. Although, somebody told me to put Reflectix around it and that it would help that. And I keep some extra water down here. I have a couple of jugs here and then I have three in the back under the bed. So, and I have a backup camera, which I really like. And um, Bluetooth so I can play music from my phone. Thanks, Lee, for showing us around. It's a, as you can see, it's a really great little setup. Uh, it's a relatively small vehicle, mm -hmm. but I mean, the mileage is amazing. It's very mm -hmm. spacious inside compared to my RAV4, for example, <laughs> which isn't that much smaller than this. Oh, no, so but it's nice. if you guys have any questions, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, then mm -hmm. leave them in the comments below and uh, we'll make sure we, we see them and answer them to the, to the best of our ability. So thanks again for watching and thanks again, Lee, for showing us around. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. Be sure to check out Adventure Know How, my new site, where you can gain access to a map of all of my free campsites, plus monthly bonus videos that you won't find anywhere else. Learn more at adventureknowhow.com. And for links to everything else SUV RVing related, visit suvrving.com. Links to these sites and more will be in the video description.